Um, but I'm here now. But I'm here now. Um, I will begin shortly. So we will go ahead and just start practicing. Get right into it, and I think we waited long enough. See how long it takes me to get into a match here. All right, BPS Harry or is our lucky contestant. Ah, they know paper strap. Set three, set four. Oh, better get your banana. Oh, banana. Goods. And you gotta flip a uh, trap in response. I O. Of course they have the order. Of course they have the order. And I have no monsters in hand. So yeah, let's go to game two. Ban I O. My God. Oh, well, now that I know they have Imperial Order. Um. I need more outs to his. Well, the issue with IO, I mostly just need to get to my fusions to pop the back row. Or, uh, stuff like Tornado Dragon. Because obviously I can't use Twin Twister to out it, so. Um. Oh, thank you for commenting on my sleeves. That's nice. Thank you. Ah, uh, nothing I can really side against IO specifically. So I have to, like, make Nightmare Phoenix or something. Uh, or Tornado Dragon. Uh, that's a pain in the ass. At least I'm going first this time, so they can't IO me first turn. I can at least establish myself this time. Um, uh, if I dodge the hand traps, if they're running hand traps. But if it's mine, they probably don't have meant much in the way of hand traps. Um, let's see. Activate patchwork. Get Polly, get an edge imp monster. We probably want, uh, we have a chain in hand, so... Then we can activate Toy Vendor. Activate our Toy Vendor. We'll pitch Chain to trigger Toy Vendor. Now we'll pitch Octopus. Okay, that was kind of unlucky. That was really unlucky. Maybe pitching an octopus was not the play there. We normal dog. We get penguin here. And we're gonna activate polarization for Krua. Sending Penguin and Chain.
Thank, uh, thank you, Mechlord Best Deck, for the follow. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Trigger Penguin, and then Chain Link to Chain. Uh, we'll add a, uh, a repair to our hand. I did not mean to throw out that Royal Penguins Garden shit. That was a misplay. Uh, that was a bad misplay. Um, let's make Cross Sheep. Uh, sure. That's what, uh, thank you. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, sh uh, what do I do here? Yeah, I want to repair here. Get my whale back in the extra. Uh, yep. We'll just get this. Defense. Yeah, I think. I think, uh, I will. I'll uh, just stay on this. I think I think I pass on this. I have a jump scythe, so let's see what they do. I can fuse on their turn. Uh, trap tricks mantis. Oh, it's trap tricks. With that set five, I thought it was mine or some shit. Seed. Okay, parallel exceeds are out, so now would be a good time to activate our EI Scythe. Let's have two cards on board. We'll make our whale. Sending Edge Jump and sending our penguin to here. Penguin, cross sheep, whale. Destroy toy vendor, destroy, we'll pop the trap trick, Sarah. Um, and we'll special, um, we'll special chain because it's got a big ass. And then we'll discard, hmm. I don't see my big ammo right now, so. Trigger toy vendor. We'll get uh, a dolphin to hand. <laughs> oh, oh, Utopia Double. Uh, that's fine.
Regular old utopia. Oh, just trying to OTK me with double or nothing? Well, there's nothing I can do with this because this is not a fluffle. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about Utopia Double or nothing. I'm making my notes, my little note sheet, really fast. For that game, Trap Tricks Utopia. Game one lost to Monkey. Ban Imperial Order. Please. Game two, FTK'd by Topia plus double or nothing at cross sheep should have held off on site fusing because if I had if I had waited to fuse if I had waited the fuse, if I had waited to fuse with Edge and Scythe, I could have I could have popped Utopia and then I wouldn't have died. But I I, I used Edge and Scythe too early.
Game loss could have been avoided by held off on Edge of Siphon t uh, into Whale till Utopia was on the board. I didn't know this matchup at all. And save my little document and back to this. Uh, let's try again. That, that ended a little too fast. Lost first game to Imperial Order, lost second game to not knowing the Utopia matchup. Um... Oh boy, invoked. And the time to nor uh, caps lock normal summon. Oh yeah, it is. It's time. And I have no gammas in hand, so that's great. Uh, let me just get the fully pop off here. Probably gonna end on like DP and a bunch of other bullshit. Uh, there's the implication. Oh. I'm guessing Mechaba or uh, Kaliga, one of the two. Yeah, there's the Mechaba. Desires. At least the Utopia deck was cool. This is just do something else that JP uh, that deck. Uh, threat set background could be dogmatica punishment, could be um, schism, could be um, just like floodgates in general, teak boo, um, maybe maybe like stuff like imperial order in the main deck. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna throw Bruce Fairy of Goods here. Octopus was an okay top deck. Okay, we'll dump a Toy Vendor. Activate Toy Vendor. Um, get our Penguin to hand. Normal or penguin. If they've got the imperm, they've got the imperm. Better have it. 
Oh, they don't. No ash either, looks like. Um, I think we want, we want sheep for sure. A little bit of extension. Unfortunately, we can't reach polymerization, so we can't get our penguin draw. But what we can do. Let's summon our crash sheep. Summon our sheep. Do you want to go into crash sheep here? Probably not, right? I think the play actually is to... I don't think Invoke cares about Dweller at all. I think I just want to... It's a shame I couldn't get Octopus or Dolphin out because because uh, Toad would be good here. Um, fuck it, I'm going to Dweller. It's my best one I can go into. Or I could go into Tornado Dragon, pop their back row. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Tornado Dragon. I can pop the Meltdown in one of the back row. Pop the meltdown. But other than that, I don't know what else to do. Um I think I have to pass with this, actually. Yeah, I have to pass, I think. But at least I popped the meltdown, I guess. Oh, I can pop this again. And pop one of their back row. We'll pop this one. Ah, uh, we got the chalice. That was a nice hit. Chances are good they probably want the sheep off the board so I don't have a fluffle name on board. But then again, they could take out the Dragon. It's a 2100, but it can't really pop anything anymore because it's out of materials. But oh, Ecclesia. There's the uh, Ecclesia. They just Ecclesia into Sheep, Mechaba into Petronia Dragon, and there's Alistair from hand, making Mechaba huge. 
I'm gonna take a big hit here if I'm not already dead. Uh, they've got more combo to go off on. Yep, another Wildster. Uh, but. Mm. I'm maybe, like, not maybe dead here. I might barely survive. Take 24 there. Sheep is in defense, so I won't take any from Ecclesia, thankfully. Toy vendor. Activate toy vendor from grave. Uh, still doesn't solve the issue. We still don't have a way to get the polarization yet. Uh. Not all penguin. I packed Valor. Now they have the Valor. Or they could have had it all the time this time they finally read Penguin. I'm dead. I can't I'm I'm dead next turn. Oh, that was weird. Why did he leave in, in things? He very comfortably won that first game. And why would he just... Okay. Oh, well, I get to add my first win to the notes. As stupid as it is. Um... After dot deck. Actually, do something else dot deck. Game one. Rough starting hand.
component quit. Oh, that wait, we don't want this play version. That'll be it for my notes. Really weird that they uh, that they left after they beat my ass the first game. I guess maybe they didn't like their opening hand or how side decking went. Like they part, maybe they hard bricked when I finished my siding, and they just quit out. Valdemar is next. I should have known. I should have not gone off a of paper strat. Chaos space. Is this is this nerd playing Dragon Link in the year of our Lord 2021? Dude, they banned the LP. Let it go. Okay, LP let's Dragon Link. Let's see what they can do. Clap Serpent, Striker, Recharger. Heretic Spheres. Uh, yeah, Boot Sector, Resident Sleeper. Chaos Ruler. So uh, this is just this is just Dragon Link, but less good. So I guess like some kind of weird Dragon Good stuff deck. And there's the uh, Hot Red Chaos Ruler from Grave. Well, even without uh, well, without LP, they can like, at least get kind of the, the way to what the Dragon Link and board used to look like. Still got like two negates, I think, from Hot Red and from Chaos Ruler. Does, does Chaos Ruler have the negate? Have a negate, or am I picking up another card?
Oh, so Casserole is just the one that comes back to life. It's hot red that has the negate, right? Oh, so hot red just has a dragoon style one on the negate. Uh, the one with the multi negates was savage, which they could not make. Um, uh, let's see. Activate bear. Let's make them read some fawful cards. That toy vendor from Gray. Activate. See if they let this go. Nicely properly activated this time. Uh, we'll discard the wings. Wings has a good grave effect. Ooh, good. We can special dog. Got a hot red negate this. See if they take the debate. Oh, they had Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler will chain called by. On Valor, so we can keep going. Okay, our dog got negged, but let's let's review. We got them to use Effect Veiler and Hot Red on that special dog from Toy Vendor. And none of those were destroying the gates too, so I still have the dog on board. Oh, and that, they still have the spheres, though. Shit. And there's Brotor. Oh, in this juncture, I think we have to activate our wings. Ash bear. They have another fucking piece of interaction for death from my graveyard. Like, are they, uh, are they on ghost spell? Or uh, called by themselves? Hmm. <laughs> 
All right. Dragon Maid tidying. I'll try it again. Hmm. Well, the problem is the cross sheep just I just dead because if I make cross sheep I'm just dead because of seven hundred and I don't have a way to use on their turn. If I make Dagda, hmm. I just couldn't get thralled in the gates. And all the hand traps. I have to pass on this because they just had too many ways of stopping me. living here. I'm going to gate my dag though, unfortunately. So I can't even get artifact size. Uh, not like it's gonna matter. They're gonna have game on board this turn anyway. They've got the stuff for it, and I've got nothing that can stop it because I hard drew the driver, and no gamma. Yeah, dude, I know you got it. Uh... Any of this work particularly great against Dragon Link? Maybe Chalice needs to come in? I don't droll as much to Dragon Link at all. Oh, maybe we need Pank. Maybe Pank would be good. Um, we'll take out Octopus for Pank, I think. And I think that'll be good. Pank would be a really good draw against Dragon Link. Alrighty. Um... Let's see how many hand traps they have this time. Getting that jump. This time I actually hit polymerization access though, so. Um, normal to Penguin, see if I eat a hand trap.
make the whale. Go ahead and go to chain. Uh, we'll discard one gamma and we will add. Oh, I'd probably perfusion to hand. What's this other effect? No, we're gonna we're gonna make crash heap here. Then we're gonna repair to get our whale back on our extra. We're gonna just do this to get this penguin back on board. Black Demon Fox, thanks for the follow. Um, I could fight for fusion now or on the opponent. Yeah, I want to fight for fusion now, actually. Banishing these two so we can trigger our cross sheep. Because there's too much risk trying to trigger the cross sheep on their turn because they could just negate it. Because it's Dragon Link, they're going to get a billion negates. And specialist gamma. That uses extra material. Because from here, what we can do is we can actually make Dagda. Send these two to make Dagda. We should have held the fluffle in hand actually because now we don't have the materials to use this to actually make use of the Dagda. At least not this turn. We have to see how strong the Dragon Link player opened. Mm. Hello, nice to meet you. Certainly a lot of people in tonight. I really appreciate you guys uh, showing up and uh, hanging out with me. Uh, Mr. Dragon Link is taking forever, or or Mrs. or they them or whatever they prefer. Um, uh, I shouldn't, you know. Perceive the legender. Uh, but uh, the Dragon Link player is certainly taking their time. If they haven't disconnected. Oh, there they are. Chaos Space. Sign. Yes, I will activate my thing here. Uh, 
I use this target self activate this set safe from deck we'll send the one of the patchworks to the graveyard we'll special summon our saber tooth so we can re-trigger cross sheep Special summon our whale back. And we can special summon. We do penguin. White Dragon Wyvern Buster. There's a collapse serpent. Chaos face. Uh, there's Safert. Loot sector. Recharger, track tracer, tracer effect, rocket synchron. Chaos Ruler. There's another gate.
Well, I didn't think I was going to win that one on time, but... Uh, nothing else I really want to add. I'll put Octopus back in from Pink. It doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, maybe they got a bad connection or something. That's uh, very likely they just dropped here. Oh, they just took a while to side. Yeah, space Nibiru. Of you know, Resident Sleeper, Ice Sleeve, Dragon Link plays. I already know I'm, I'm probably lost since they're going first. I'm gonna be able to set up so many negs that I won't be able to play anything. Well, no seals this time. Just got a hot red negate to contend with. Um, now, the, I'll be surprised if this doesn't get nagged or hand trapped. Oh, they're probably holding it for Penguin itself.
That was that was unlucky. Change roll. Yeah, this game. Bandroll Mockbird. Dragon Copium. Get through Veiler plus Hot Red in the gate. timed out however I'm making my notes here uh, and then my game one notes is couldn't get through Valor plus hot red negate upon the head Weeple turn two uh, dragon copium uh, upon was it uh, I was able to semi pop off on the opponent's turn game two well, uh, crash sheep use pop down, bend their head, decent bow of board, but the opponent timed out uh, halfway through his, their turn. Um,
Game Free got trolled. Queen Contester board through it. It's much harder to play through that hand trap than others. Now I'm not sure how to solve the situation. It's much harder to play through that hand trap than others. Seems like a difficult matchup. IDK, what to do? Like any high negate board. Second is rougher than doing first. Right, no sir taken for that one. Sorry, gonna wait there. I was uh, taking my Skyhawk nose for that one. Uh I think I'll play one more match. And then I'll end the stream for today. Hopefully this will be a quick one. go first and we got one of the worst opening hands we could possibly get Penguin's Garden sort of softens it but not by much because we don't have enough puzzle names um I actually think we don't even summon the penguin. I think we just pass and hold our gammas. And if they play anything, um, we just see what they do and we can maybe gamma. All right, terraforming. Zombie world. This is just full on zombie. I think we gamma bail rock, I think. Grow up bloom. Now uh, we're probably going to take a lot of damage here. Uh, we 
we should have maybe used this on like the bloom or or goes key, but I didn't think think it through. Um, we can get a second penguin maybe. Oh, it can't I can't special two penguins. That's right. It has to be a fluffle other than fluffle penguin. Yeah, I lost two brick here. This is a much better serving hand. Um, penguin. Penguin effect. Dog. Dog effect. We can't really access polarization, so it makes no sense to get sabers, so get cheap. I know it's zombie, and zombie likes using the graveyard, so I think we make what we 100% make dweller here. I should have summoned sheep first, but it wasn't gonna get me much. I don't know, like I have one crees in this deck. Um, I'm just gonna blow our pass. On their draw phase, I'm gonna I'm gonna dwell her. Hmm. Burial. Sure, no, he's all Sarah. You know, zombie. <coughs> Secrets of Eternity was released in 2016. This has introduced the Inferoids.
All right. Good. We'll get uh Here I think we get, yeah, we get penguin, I think. Not all the penguin. Hang on a pack. Special summon our sheep. Uh, make our cross sheep. We might actually trigger the Xyz effect on um, cross sheep. Uh, the Xyz effect is what? All monster you control lose, your opponent's control you lose 700. Oh, that's not that relevant. Battle. Attack over unit zombie. Attack directly with Dweller. Getting you out of the world. Bones draft plays. Ah, super poly. Before I could even, even, even keep them out of the extra, uh, I mean, out of the graveyard, rather. I couldn't even get a chance to trigger my uh, effect because of the super volley. Oh, because they. Hmm. 
Uh, okay. Crestron health fiber. Yeah, I think we need we negate health here. I'm pretty sure I lose anyway unless my top deck is like amazing. All because I couldn't dollar them the second time. Because they had the super poly. One penguin is enough to contest it. It's over. No, oh, let me wait. Cool. I think that's going to be a stream, though. Um, I'll make my notes later. Um, I remember that game pretty well. Um, and I can just watch the VOD. Um... I'll fill out my last note for that game later. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate everybody who stopped by. We actually got quite a few viewers this time. Oh, a lot for me, I should say. But I really appreciate everybody who showed up. Thank you all so much. I will see you tomorrow for our Deltarune Snow Grave route. Chapter 2 Snowgrave. See you guys later.